Sorry guys. Got a lot of tools that I just purchased. Already came in handy. A little Pittsburgh straight edge guide. Came in handy. So I had to cut that much. It's about five eighths of an inch. So that's about a half inch. Plus the uh, eighth inch for the for the blade. So had to cut the door down. Cut the door frame and the uh, and the uh, what you call it and the slab. This whole piece is called a slab. Take that off before. Anyway, um, used silicone down in here and uh, <clears throat> got to get some spray foam, but it's all level, level, plumb, and square. Let's see, it's levels. Some cats fighting the other day, and <clears throat> I thought that cat maybe got picked up by a uh, an owl or something. So you can see, or level that side and this side level there, and we are. Over level there. Anyway, um, yeah, the had to take the hinges off on the door themselves. As you can see, we have quite a bit of overhang here and nothing here. Overhang, and then <clears throat> we don't have any overhang. We got reverse gap there and then this one sits pretty much flush um, when we put the door in originally the whole thing show you real quick. we had uh, this top here this slab was sticking out you know it was out this way Probably about a quarter of an inch here, about three eighths of an inch here, and it was really bad here. It's probably about a half inch out here. So this is the the door we had in there. Just single pane, tempered glass, flimsy wood door. Didn't even have a third hinge. You were able to see daylight all around it. So keep in mind that we do have to paint this door, so no big deal. Fiberglass door, so that's why the hinge pins aren't really in. <coughs> we did have to cut the bottom of the jams. I'm watching space balls right now, and that's kind of funny. Jams, they jam the, the satellites. Anyway, so that's about how much we cut off on the bottom of the jams. And then uh, sprayed primer. Primer on the bottoms of what we cut off. And then obviously we had to re-drill. Re-drill these and then these pieces. Um, that goes, doesn't go square, it's at an angle for the slope of the sill. And this is the bottom of the door. And uh, also had to, where's the rest of it? So, 
This is the bottom of the door right here. So you have two slots in it like that for the door sweep on the bottom of the door. So we took the circular saw oh, right there and uh, just took it freehand cut it um, to cut two grooves in it and then uh, put that door sweep back in so um, probably tomorrow on my way home I'm gonna go get some some inside trim and some uh, baseboard by the way this is the room we're doing so it's 20, 20 feet wide, 20 feet long, and it slopes, and I got some drywall crap I gotta do to it. Like this right here, and then this spot right here, it's all cracked. And then this over here had some water, had some water, the roof was leaking. What happened was the, the asphalt, it's not a shingle roof or anything, it's out, just rolls of asphalt, and the wind it blew, blew it up. So, anyway, if you're gonna buy a door, be prepared to do some modifications, a lot of them. Um, this is the old door sill, kind of kind of junk that's the door sill neighbors are smoking weed those are the door jams from the old door this will all just go in the trash um, this wood I just put up temporarily to block the gap I'll have to go get some more um, this looks like one by, I don't know, one by three, something like that. <clears throat> but, yeah. Got the door installed. Door is fine. Fits, fits fine. So, it's uh, two and three quarters of an inch by about seven eighths of an inch. So, I'll have to find something that matches that. Anyway, got to use some new tools. Like I said, the, the little straight edge guide um, from Harbor Freight. It was 13 bucks. 50 inch clamp and cut edge. Item number 563. It's down there. And the bottom left-hand corner. Anyway, um, got to use that. Got to use the sawhorses. <clears throat> yeah. And then uh, some kids came, picked up a bunch of Subaru parts that I had in the barn. So uh, so far so good. So far good. So. Um, anyway. That's pretty much all I got. I'm gonna relax the rest of the night. Um, yeah, I'm gonna chill out. Actually, I might, might pull the truck back here, load up some of this carpet, and uh, dump it at work because we have a dumpster that everybody in the whole city dumps stuff at um so i figure well, why not maybe me maybe i can but i always ask the supervisor or the manager first obviously so uh, yeah door zero me one um but anyway so Pretty much it. Locks, locks, everything locks. 
obviously you, I run uh, there's like four inch long screws in here for the deadbolt and then uh, two and a half inch long screws in for that and uh, there's you know shims shims wherever the screws are I got shims there, shims there, shims there, shims there and then shims in behind all the hinges with the uh, the uh, four inch screws going into the stud in one hinge one screw in each hinge so anyway fair let you guys know give you a little update what's going on with this door and uh, yeah it's a lot quieter I can tell already even with this window being cracked open a lot quieter even with that big old hole you can see outside but anyway all right guys that's gonna be it for this video make sure you guys subscribe make sure you guys comment you guys keep doing what you're doing the dirty bikes out maybe i'll go for a ride after work tomorrow more than likely not but anyway um yeah, windows are next. Maybe I'll do a window tomorrow. I can't really do the install video because I know uh, nothing in this house is plumb level square, so it's a lot more work. It's a lot more work than uh, just pulling off trim board and flashing and setting the window in. Um, yeah, that's a lot. It's quite a bit of work actually because I got to do a lot of trimming, cutting, shimming, you name it. Um, just not cursing because I don't do that. But anyway, alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. Make sure you subscribe. Thank you guys for subscribing. Comment. See you guys on the next one.